Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Drew, this is Just a Guy Linux. And since I have been absent in the days following the Debian 12 bookworm release, I'd like to take a few minutes to help you navigate the site, uh, download an ISO of your choosing, and get that ISO ready to install uh, because we're gonna be working on some installation in the coming days. And I'd also like to talk about the importance of this release. So let's start right there. As you know, I've never claimed to be an expert about Linux, hence the name, just a guy, Linux. Uh, I'm not really qualified to talk about Debian Server, but I have installed Debian Server, which I call Debian Minimal, dozens and dozens of times. And as it stands, I'm a Linux desktop user. Specifically, I'm a Debian user that runs a window manager instead of a full desktop environment, which I guess kind of puts me somewhere in the middle. Not necessarily a beginner, but I'm not even close to being an, ex an expert. And from where I'm sitting, this release of Debian may be the most important one in its history for desktop users. And I say that now, but a year from now, the same users who want to ding Debian for having older packages, a slower release cycle, will have the same opinion like they did after Bullseye was released. Or will they? Most desktop users, at least from what I can see, uh, prefer to go the way of Ubuntu and Linux Mint, especially those that are coming from um, Windows or Mac that are trying to kind of like learn Linux. And granted, I give it to them to even start. That's where my journey started as well. But Debian has made some strides in desktop space, and I hope that it's gonna pay off for them because re they really deserve to be, um, to be commended for some of the decisions they've made specifically for desktop users. The first decision to include firmware in the net install is big. It used to be that you needed to go find the unofficial net install with firmware in the Debian.org website maze, um, and that's no longer. So the download page connected to the home page is all you need, uh, and that includes um, firmware. So if I go to the home page and I click on download, uh, this Debian net install has firmware, which will help those that are on laptops that are using Wi-Fi um, that will have like Intel microcode or AMD microcode right out of the box. This is a big deal uh, and it will help people who uh, have trouble installing Debian to stick with Debian, okay? Now, assuming also that you have access to the internet, so you would actually have to find a different, um, a different ISO in order to have like the full install, not the net install, which, you know, is challenging. Um, also, if you, I've never needed to use Flatpak, but enabling uh, Flatpak support in this version specifically of Debian, which it was, it's been there for a while, but it hasn't been nearly as good as it will be for uh, this version. So um, you'll be able to install uh, LibreOffice or the in la the latest versions of LibreOffice, Firefox, NeoVim, OBS Studio, Kden Live, much easier than ever before. Now, it's not it, you know obviously it doesn't work right out of the box. You actually have to use like a few commands. So if you're a GNOME user, you will use this command or sudo apt install and then this. Uh, but if you're just using sudo apt install flatpak and then adding this repo uh, on anything other than uh, GNOME, then you should be good to go. It's two commands in command line, which I know is challenging for some people. But um, if you don't want, if you don't want flatpak, you don't have to have it. So the distro hasn't you know, made you have Flatpak or made you <laughs> use Snaps. You don't have to. Thank you, Debian, for not 
forcing that on me. Granted, desktop updates will not be forthcoming, but uh, GNOME 43 is fine. It's usable. I'm currently trying it on my uh, on my laptop because of the uh, the high definition monitor or display rather on that machine. Uh, it, it looks it makes it look really pretty, uh, and that's the fact. Um, also, KDE uh, is rocking uh, KDE on Bookworm is rocking the latest version until KDE six comes out. Uh, you got XFCE 4.18, which is the latest and an excellent version uh, update. And I'd, actually, I'd be shocked if XFCE was to have a point update prior to Debian 13. Um, but to me, the question is, how usable are these versions if you're not going to get updates um, of, you know, of these desktop environments? You could include Cinnamon and Mate also, and LXQT. To me, they are mature. They are mature that software. They are mature desktop environments, and they're mature enough to rock with for the next couple of years. Not, it's not like before, where you needed those updates. Someone's going to ask me about Wayland in the comments, and. Specifically, someone's going to ask me about what about Hyperland or something, and I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really care. Honest, I don't think it's going to change at least my um, workflow at all with Debian or Linux. In specifically, does it make? Is it pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. Um, but for me, you know, the, getting the job done is much more appealing than having the Windows do certain things and. Whatever. I, I mean, I think from my perspective, um, will it even be possible to install it on Debian in the next two years? I don't know. Um, I mean, I spent some time trying to on Unstable for a while. And I am, I mean, someone smarter than me is going to figure out how to do it. That, that's just bottom line. Um, but do I feel like I'm missing out by not being able to install it or waiting? No, not really. I'm going to grant the naysayers also who say that um, the installation is antiquated looking and it's difficult. Yeah, you, you, you might be right. You, you know, you might be right. Is it harder than Linux Mint or Ubuntu? Yes, it is. Uh, is it challenging to get your ButterFS working right out of the right out of the box with time shift? Yeah, uh, but Here's the thing. If I can do it, you definitely can. <laughs> and that's the truth. Uh, you know, I have videos out there and I will have more on Debian 12 doing installation, doing ButterFS, all that stuff. It's going to be fine. Trust me, it's going to be fine. OK, rant concluded. And let me go back over to where uh, Debian homepage is. And if you're looking for download, clearly I said that you can use this. In fact, this is the one I will use all the time on my channel. I mean, I don't know that I will use anything other than this. But if you are looking for something like a live, uh, a live ISO, you would need to find it. And it's not always straightforward. OK, so I'm going to click on USB sticks. All right. Now, I wish it was easier. I really do. OK. And I'm going to like look for a couple things real quick. I wish it was easier to find. Um, but if you are looking, let me, I'm going to open this where it says CD image. This is something you could bookmark if you needed to. But I'm going to open this in a new tab. And I'm also going to find out, uh, find where uh, the live images are directly. Okay. So let's open that in a new. Okay. So. Uh, right here is where we started, okay? And if you want to use uh, BitTorrent, so if you're using Transmission GTK or anything like that, you can use here. But if you're just looking for the ISO directly, you can click on this and you're good. You can find the ISO uh, for Cinnamon, KDE, GNOME, LXQT, and so on. 
Um, so th this will allow you to try it out if you want to try out uh, and install. So if you want to try out the Cinnamon ISO or Cinnamon uh, spin of Debian, then you're, cap you're able to do that like right away. Okay. The other, the other thing I, uh, I opened up was this. This is not as straightforward, but if you want to go to release and you want to go to 12.0 live and AMD64 and the ISO, same page. It's just, it's just harder to find this way, okay? So again, I apologize. I mean, I don't know why I'm apologizing for Debian to have really difficult or challenging uh, aspects to their their downloads, but that's just it's just the way it is. Will I need to go to this? Not anymore, because if I'm going to be installing anything, um, I'm going directly to this ISO. Okay, this ISO right here. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and click that. And it's going to download. It's, it's actually a bigger file this, this time around. Like Debian 11.7 was sub 500 megabytes, I think. So the actual firmware is taking up another couple hundred uh, megabytes, I would say. Maybe 250, somewhere in there. Anyway. While this is downloading, I'm just going to open up a terminal and I'm going to go to downloads. And it should be done any second. Okay. And there's that. I'm going to go ahead and move this away to workspace two. So I'm going to go find a, um, a USB stick. And I'm going to pop it in. And actually, let me let me make sure that there's something on this. Oh, it's actually, there's Debian 12 on there already. All right, so we're just going to overwrite this. So in order to uh, do this on Linux, you just need which um, where your USB resides. And in this case, it's SDB. So sudo dd if equals and then the name of the file, which is Debian, and then OF output file equals dev sdb, and then status equals progress, bs equals 16m, and o flag equals sync. And let's go ahead and authenticate. And so this is all that's needed. Now, if you're using like Ventoy, it's going to be something simple like copying and pasting. If you're a Windows user, um, I would recommend using something um, like um, Oh my goodness, I had like a, a brain fart for a second. It's, it's Etcher. I, I couldn't remember the word Etcher there for a minute. Anyway, uh, so if you go Etcher and you use it, you can use it cross-platform. Uh, you can easily uh, burn an ISO to a USB. That's, that's all I was going to say. Okay, so thank you for uh, joining me today and for talking a little bit about and letting me rant a little bit about Debian and how I am un <laughs> unapologetically a uh, Debian fanboy have been for years. Um, I am only going to be using Debian on this channel and I appreciate your time and your, um, and your viewership. Thanks.